Okay, so I've basically been trying to determine how to uh, compress these batteries while they're on the bike. Uh, what a lot of people do in, in electric cars and things is they, uh, they'll actually go and build a metal box and the metal box will be sized just perfectly so that these uh, cells will uh, just fit in. They'll have to like really crunch them in. So once they're in the box, they basically they can't expand or move or anything, so they're really secure. But um, and that that's like the uh, ideal ideal way to do it, I think. But since this is a motorcycle, and I really uh, the shape is going to be really complicated, and a, a big metal box would weigh quite a bit. Um, I really have to come up with a different way of of uh, keeping these batteries uh, secure and also you know compressed. So. I've uh, thought of multiple ways to do it. Um, one way I was thinking is using um, that shipping strap that they used to um, they used to uh, pack pallets with. So you could use um, um, either metal strapping that would you know a half inch strap would fit perfectly in these grooves. So a half inch metal strap could uh, be tensioned around here and then crimped, and um, that seemed like a pretty good uh, pretty good way to do it. Except that in order to get a kit to do that, you basically need to buy like a thousand feet of this metal strap. So uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be going around to all my neighbors asking them if they wanted uh, anything strapped up with metal strap because I'd be trying to figure out a way to get rid of all this extra metal strap I have. So yeah, that was one possible option, but the uh, the tools are expensive to crimp and tension the strap and and the strap itself. I'd just I'd have so much of it I wouldn't know what to do with it. So uh, that was one idea I initially had. Um, uh, also, there's a plastic variants of the strapping too that might work. Um, but the problem with plastic is that over time it uh, degrades and stretches, and um, I ended up ruling that out just because yeah, over time it's going to stretch and it's going to allow these cells to move. And so I really want something metal to hold these cells together because then I know it won't stretch and uh, it'll keep these cells really solid. <laughs> So the most sensible idea I've come up with so far is um, to use simply uh, hose clamps. So um, I don't know if I can, I can't wrap this around with one hand, but basically I just, um, I tried wrapping this around these two cells and uh, tensioning it up as much as I could and um, you can apply a lot of tension with just a basic hose clamp. So I think what I'm going to try to do um, is I'm going to get uh, thin aluminum plates for each one of these ends and then I'm gonna wrap it in uh, maybe two or three sets of hose clamps and that'll be plenty. These things are uh, really strong and not only that uh, you can basically come back anytime you want and retension them so if, if like if anything ever uh, gets loose for any reason you can just turn the screw and tension it some more so I figured that would work really good. So that's the best idea I have so far, and and not only that, uh, you can just walk down to, uh, you know, go down to any uh, any hardware store and just pick up a bunch of hose clamps. So it's not like it's a rare item or anything. So yeah, that's basically the best idea I had so far. Um, it turns out the distributor that I got these cells from, um, uh, I guess they made a mistake and they didn't send me the interconnect bars. So I. I uh, I talked to them and uh, they sent me the interconnect bars, so they're in, they're in the mail right now, so they'll, uh, they'll get to me eventually, but I don't need those in, in any real hurry. hurry. Um, one problem is that uh, these with these cells, the way they're, they're designed, the um, center to center distance across here is perfect for the tabs. It's um, 2.38 inches if I recall, but if you turn the cells like this, then um, these the center distances between these two points here is actually closer together now, so you actually need a different uh, bar to interconnect uh, the cells this way. So that's a bit of a problem, but it's, it's not a big deal. But it's a bit of a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, working on all the kind of little hardware stuff for now, and uh, hopefully once my exams are done next week, I'll be actually on the bike uh, fabbing up some racks out of aluminum, aluminum angle so and uh, we'll get them all mounted on there and uh, get her good to go so uh, yeah stay tuned